Odia Lyonde has the sports news on the News at 10. Thank you very kindly, Gimba. Nigeria wrestlers Blessing Oborududu and Adekoro Iodwayo are pulling their weights in the final world ranking series in Istanbul, Turkey, which began yesterday. Adekoro has won a gold medal and Blessing Oborududu also won a bronze medal. With this win, Adekoro will be ranked in the top three in her weight class, having won the German uh, work ranking series and placing third at the Bulgarian ranking tournament earlier this year. Blessing Oborududu will also be placed in the top eight, having won two bronze medals in Germany and Istanbul this year. The Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Desert Foxes of Algeria will clash on Sunday night in a 2019 Africa Cup of Nations semi-final encounter at the Cairo International Stadium. Three-time champions Nigeria are looking for their fourth title since winning their first on home soil at the expense of Algeria in 1980. While the Algerians are looking for their second crown since winning on home soil at the expense of Nigeria in 1990. Super Eagles coach Gernot Raw says defeat by Madagascar has rudely awakened his boys to the approach they must adopt to win each game by not underrating any team. Our teams who are remaining in the competition are the best teams of the tournament. Everybody's favorite now. So when you see Senegal and Tunisia, Senegal number one in Africa, Tunisia number two in the ranking in Africa, we are number three or four, I think. So we are all here. Algeria is coming, playing so well. So all is open. But it's reflecting that you have two countries from Northern Africa and two countries from West Africa who are... I think we have uh, a technical crew that, you know, are solid. They, they, they go extra mile to get us everything we need to know about our opponents even before we face them. So we're on the pitch and we know, you know, almost everything about your next opponent. So this is an advantage for us. Moving on to tennis now, Simona, ha Simona Halep has stalled Serena Williams's latest bid to capture a record equalizing 24th Grand Slam when she stormed to a sensational victory in a 56-minute Wimbledon final. The 27-year-old Romanian captured her second career major with a 6-2 and 6-2 victory, adding a maiden Wimbledon to her 2018 Roland Garros triumph. Defeat for 37-year-old Serena, a seven-time Wimbledon champion, who won the last of her 23 slam titles at the 2017 Australian Open, meant her attempt to equal Margaret Court's all-time record for major wins was put back on the ice until at least the US Open. Serena was undone by 26 unforced errors to Halep's two. And tomorrow, Novak Djokovic will be meeting Roger Federer in the men's final. And that's all on Sports News. Gimba Umar is back in just a moment. Okay. The stories outside Nigeria. At least 26 people have been killed in an attack on a hotel in southern Somalia. Officials say a suicide bomber rammed a car containing explosives into the Asase Hotel in the port city of Kishmayo before gunmen later stormed the building. A prominent journalist, Hodan Nalia, and several foreigners, including three Kenyans, three Tanzanians, two Americans, and one Briton, are amongst the dead. Militant group Al Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the attack, the worst to hit Kishmayo since they were forced out in 2012. In the United States, a storm approaching the Louisiana coast has strengthened into a Category 1 hurricane. Officials say that the hurricane Barry is nearing landfall with sustained winds, speed of 75 miles per hour, 
with higher gusts. The storm is set to most heavily impact on areas west of New Orleans, and officials have warned that floods and storm surges could be life-threatening. More stories. The UK's Foreign Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, says that the Iranian tanker detained by Royal Marines near Gibraltar could be released if Britain gets an assurance the oil is not bound for Syria. The tanker, seized on July 4th, is suspected to be breaking EU sanctions. Iran claimed seizure was piracy, and an Iranian ship later tried to impede a British tanker. After constructive talks with Tehran, uh, Mr. Hunt says that he believes that Iran has no desire to escalate the situation. And the main news again, the Inspector General of Police today ordered overhaul of security on highways in the southern part of the country. He also vowed to ensure that the killers of Mrs. Funke Olakuri, daughter of a Fanny Ferry leader, Pa Ruben Fashironti, are apprehended. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for watching. On behalf of all of us, have a splendid night, press, and a great weekend ahead. I am Gimba Umar. Good night.